Nothing. Okay. So this map, okay. This variation. Coal Tower. And somebody's one in D stuff oh, another one in D Swike. <laughs> ah, didn't have enough uh right there. Oh she would oh she fucked up. Oh dead hard. Okay, so that was planned. Just in case her just in case the flashlight user happened to be close by. Ah! And they were. Always check around before the flashlight user comes by and trying to ruin your day. Yeah. Ah! This is getting close. Okay, this one knows what she's doing, so I'm gonna I'm gonna leave her alone for a minute, for a little bit. She's just I'm not gonna commit to that chase for too long, especially if they know the if, especially if they know the way around the loop. Double kill. Oh, hell yeah. Again, they might have this way. So I'm not gonna bother to pick up that one. Pretty simple, pretty easy. Basement's actually nearby, so we will go for you in basement. <clears throat> That's for you. Yeah, I don't like the new aura. It's actually not making it easy to try and to find them. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of the new aura effect. It's actually kind of annoying. Because it hurts. Damn. Catch you. The survival's not too bad. Let's see. Okay, he actually uh, uh, dropped the pellet this time. He faked that. That was good shit. Uh, I'm wasting my time again on this guy, so I'll leave him alone. Makes sense. 
Especially when it comes to swarm survivors that know the whoops. Yeah, when it comes to swarm survivors, I uh, just tend to leave, the, leave them alone. Especially if, like that one definitely was pretty good at her whoops. So I think she is definitely the swongest here compared to all to these other guys. I'm gonna pull you there. Pretty good survivor. <laughs> oh, she didn't fall for it. Okay, she didn't fall for it. She actually uh, waited. Now, this Nina might be pretty good. Might be pretty decent with the whooping. Yep, get them to drop that pellet. So I can actually hit that button again to actually do the charge. Interesting. Yeah. Alright, I need actually want something here. Alright, I'm gonna go kick this generator here. Eh, nice. She's put this one's pretty good. She knows her she knows her stuff pretty well. Yeah, this is a good example of not engaging in this uh chase. Cause otherwise you're gonna end up wasting so much time here. Unfortunately, I had to go for no, I had to go for the weak survivors. That's just usually how it goes. If you go against some 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 survivors that know what they're doing, then it's guaranteed that you are gonna waste so much of your time. It's gonna be game over. So doors are there, doors there. Okay. this yeah this is a good example yeah that's a good example oh they actually didn't have enough time Oh, nice, man! Pretty optimal. You're pretty. You're such an optimal survivor, man. My bus. Very optimal. 
I will give him that. I will give her that. Man, they know what they're doing. Yeah, you know what you're doing. You think I was just gonna wait? I was actually gonna hit you so I could waste more of my time with you? Nah. Nah, that wasn't happening. Let's see, you got polyball time, do you? Yeah. And I'm assuming you have DS. Oh, you just got your friend killed. Oh, I'm breakable instead. Nice. Alright, so that's if I've had unbreakable. Not that good. Yeah, that looked all right. I mean, that survival's pretty. You were pretty good. Pretty good survival, man. I'll give you pops. Can <clears throat> yeah, I get them? Yeah. This is one of those games where, you know, I go against a survivor that knows what they're doing. Oh, we got... Okay, I just pip. I just black pip. Yep. I'm assuming that... I'm assuming, yeah, that was the, um... That was the survivor right there. Yeah. They did pretty optimal. <laughs>